Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This video is all about the Vive wireless kit. I bought it this year for 345 euros and in the US it costs 299 dollars. This wireless kit is going to make your original Vive, the Vive Pro or the Vive Cosmos wireless. So that is a good thing. However, if you want to attach it to your Cosmos, you also need this here, the Cosmos Attachment Kit. This set me back 59 euros and it's 49 dollars in the US. So you will need both if you want to make your Vive Cosmos wireless. Also, you need a free slot in your computer because this comes with a PCI Express card and there's no other way to install it. So if you're using a laptop for your Cosmos or your Vive Pro or your original, original Vive, you will not be able to use the wireless kit. In this video now, I'm going to unbox these two boxes and I'm going to show you how I attach this wireless kit to my Cosmos and I'm also going to show you how I install the Express card into my computer. And all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel it's all about virtual reality. So if you're into tutorials, if you're into honest and unbiased reviews, why don't you subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Before we get to the unboxing, I would like to say thank you to all the supporters of the channel. I couldn't do it without you. I couldn't buy these kind of things if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much. If you love this channel and if you want to support it as well and make sure that I can keep on doing what I'm doing, then I would be very glad if you join the MRTV Elite at mrtvelite.com. For $3 a month, you get much more information. You get behind the scenes videos and it's just a good feeling to be part of this channel, I would say so. So go to mrtvelite.com and become a member of the MRTV Elite. A special thank you to the three MRTV champions who sponsor this channel. And these champions are Modicap, Humanize and VR Cover. Thank you so much. But now without further ado, let's get to the unboxing and the installation of the Vive Wireless Kit. And here we go. This is the unboxing of the Vive Wireless Kit. We open it up and what do we see? A URL. And you should totally check out this URL because this will give you way better instructions than the print version in this box. And this is it. This is the Wireless Kit. Makes you look like a little samurai, the cute version. And uh, yeah, very nice. And here, cables. Cables that you would normally need to attach this to your original Vive. But I don't want to do that. I want to attach this to the Cosmos and that's why we need the Cosmos attachment kit which I'm going to unbox later. Here we have the print manual. Not as good as the online version, believe me. But yeah, you can have a look at it too if you want. And this is the battery. Unfortunately, this is an 18 watt battery and this is not going to run and work with your Cosmos. And that's why in the Cosmos attachment kit, it also comes with a different battery. So here you will only use that clip later. I'm going to show that. And uh, yeah, then you will know what I'm talking about. Another cable that we totally don't need for the Cosmos setup. And now there's another box in the box and let's unbox this box too. The unboxing of the box in the box. What do we find? We find this kind of transmitter here. This should be targeted at your play area facing your Vive wireless setup. And it comes with a cable and this cable you're going to attach it to the PCI Express card which I'm going to show you in probably less than a minute. No, actually here it is. <laughs> here it is. Comes with this kind of clip where you would put the transmitter on and then you can attach it to your screen for example or to anything else. And this is the PCI Express card. So you do need a free slot in your computer. Again, cannot use this with your laptop, which is unfortunate. Later in this video, I'm also going to show you how I installed this into my PC. It's really simple. Now the attachment kit. Did you see how elegantly I rotated this box? 
you don't see that in unboxings very often. Yeah, let's have a look into the box. What do we find here? Cable, battery. Let's have a look at the battery. So this is the 21 watt battery. You will need this battery. It's not going to work with the other battery and it fits perfectly into that clip, into that holder. So you could easily attach it to your trousers, for example, or to anything else, whatever is most convenient for you. Now let's have a look. What else do we have here? We have this kind of uh, velcro and padding you will need this to attach the wireless kit to your cosmos and this thing you have to attach it to the wireless kit itself i'm going to show that to you in a moment and there's another cable and as you can tell i'm now installing the vive wireless kit to the cosmos i sped time up a little to make this more bearable for you <laughs> anyways simply follow the instructions on the website I follow the instructions from the manual, as you can tell from the print manual, and sometimes I had to guess. And just later, I found out how good the web manual really is. Anyways, somebody told me I should say anyway, not anyways, by the way. Oh, well, tell me, what should I use? <laughs> it's not really so hard to do this, and I'm not going to tell you every step that is needed. Just telling you here, I'm exchanging the cable with the short cable that will connect the wireless adapter with the VR headset. And what I found out, it's quite long. The cable connecting the wireless adapter with the Cosmos, it's really quite long. Have a look at this. So yeah, it feels a bit too long in my opinion. In my opinion, they should have made it a bit shorter. Anyways, it's going to work. And I said anyways again, hmm. Here is the nice manual in the web. See, it's much better. They show you exactly what you have to do step by step and definitely use this version. Then what you have to do, you have to install the PCI Express card, find the free slot and simply put the card into the free slot. It's really, really simple. And then you would simply attach this cable with the PCI Express card like this. And this is the transmitter. I showed it to you before. Now simply attach it somewhere so that it overlooks your play area. For example, for me, I attached it here, finger coming up soon, here. Attach it here at the lights and it's overlooking my play area. Now what you have to do, you have to install the Vive Wireless software and it's on the same page like the manual. It will install very quickly and then it's going to show you what to do. You have to press on that button on the wireless adapter. I didn't even understand it before that there is a button, but yes, there is a button, press it. And then the Vive wireless adapter will be found. It's going to update your firmware in the first run. Only going to take a couple of seconds, no problem at all. And then you will be ready to use your Vive Cosmos wirelessly. It's really so simple. Look at this. And yeah, it tells me I can update the software. I was telling you I was using software 1.0.7.1 to do my review of the Vive Cosmos. And for reasons of fairness, I'm updating it every time that there's an update to find out if the tracking got better. And here you see me now trying the Vive Cosmos wirelessly. Putting it on will take a moment, the moment of truth. And in this moment, I see Steam VR wirelessly in the Vive Cosmos. And I can tell you right now what I was thinking in this moment. I was thinking, hey, it looks great. I can't feel any latency. It seems to be really perfect. And I'm later going to play a round of Beat Saber as well. But what I also found out, hey, the tracking, it's still bad. Also with the new software, software update 1.0.8.1, we still have the same occlusion problems. And unfortunately, this big problem is still not solved at all. So, dear HTC, you have to improve that a lot still. All right, then I played Beat Saber. Even if you can't hear the music, I did hear the music. I just didn't record it here. And yeah, it worked really well. Well, as well as it can work with this tracking. But I couldn't feel any difference as compared to playing this with the Cosmos using a wire. 
So the wireless kit is doing an amazing job, really, really an amazing job. And well, I can recommend it to everyone who wants to use the Cosmos wirelessly. And again, the Cosmos is the only PC VR headset that came out in 2019, which offers this capability. Of course, there's the Oculus Quest, but it doesn't play PC VR games wirelessly, only if you use some special software, but then it's not as good as here with the wireless kit for the Cosmos. So the Cosmos wireless kit is really working well. And that's it for the unboxing, the installation and the short test of the Vive wireless kit for the Vive Cosmos. My quick conclusion, it was really easy to install it and it really worked well directly in the first try. I had no problems whatsoever. And yeah, being in VR with the Cosmos wirelessly, it feels good and it does feel just like as if you're wired. So I couldn't feel any latency. It really feels super solid and that's definitely good. Unfortunately, still the bad tracking that I told you in my review of the Cosmos. Even now, after one more update, we're now on 1.0. Dot 8.1 beta. So the next update after my review, still we have the same tracking problems and still HTC, you have to make this much better or it's really not worth it to pay this kind of money, $350 or in Europe, even 400 euros for this wireless kit if you can't really enjoy the headset because of the bad tracking. And that's it for this video. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Vive wireless kit? Is the price okay? $350, would you pay that to make the Cosmos wireless? Or do you think, okay, you know what? Let me just pay a bit more and go for the Oculus Quest where I also have a wireless headset. Do let me know in the comment section below. And now if you enjoyed this video and if you thought it was interesting and helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.